theme to our you know, Galaxy Tech Green Bay clip, and I thought, well, oh, this is cool. It's got that feeling of uplift superhero, but then it's, you know, Rocket's doing this thing, and I think I'm starting to hum along with it. And I thought, yeah. I've got to ask him how he came okay. that. So it's like, I thought this one. All right, so, so with Guardians, you know, James and I have known each other for a long time. This, this is our third film together, although he wrote Dawn of the Dead, and I did Dawn of the Dead before I met him. But we wanted to work together in advance to filming the film so that he could shoot to some music and he shot to a little music on his last one that we did but this one we really wanted to do it so I wrote this one theme which is called Black Tears and it's that way on the soundtrack as well and we thought that was the Guardians theme you know it's really bold and, and heavy but it's, it's a little bitter, bit bittersweet you know and so then fast forward to say the beginning of March and he calls me up and it's a Saturday and I'm all we're, my whole team we're all just like working crazy hours he's like dude he's like okay Black Tears amazing but I don't think it's the Guardians of the Galaxy <laughs> no, no. <laughs> wait what time in the morning yeah. was this you guys no I remember <laughs> distinctly this was like 2 in the afternoon <laughs> it was like irritable time <laughs> you know and he had, said, he had just said earlier that day that he wanted me to look at one scene and, and maybe do some kind of a rock interpretation of, of something for it so I was holding the guitar when he called and he says I want you to create a theme that a four year old could sing but is deep in emotion and bold and so we hung up on <laughs> so literally in about ten minutes I just played it on guitar which I don't normally do when I'm scoring even though I'm a guitar player and then I uh typed it out in there. Why did you turn to the guitar just out of I, it was just like No, it was in my hands already when he called. <laughs> <laughs> so, then, <laughs> so then I just literally did a crudest sketch of this theme and sent it to him. And I had sent him another one that I thought was the one, a, a different one. And I'm sure the other one was going to be better. And he called me and he says, dude, that second one is it. I'm like, are you serious? Really? Because I thought, that's just too easy in a way, you know? Because I thought I'd have to spill some blood to get to the next one because I worked my ass off on the first theme, you know, the, the Black Tears theme, you know? So, um, I was like, no, this is, that's it. That's the Guardian's theme. I know it. I'm like, all right. So then I started infusing the melody into other cues in the film. And then when we got to that kiln sequence where it's first fully realized, that's where, that's where they're escaping the prison. I was going to ask you, uh, Gun's been in the news all the time about how he's been working on this film, like talking about the 3D and just like, he's been so anal about it. <laughs> so I wanted to know, like, how was he with working with the score? Is it, does that translate into him? You know, obviously, you know, he's calling you at 2 o'clock in the afternoon to change things. Is, is it the same thing there, or because you've worked on so many films together, you can kind of anticipate what his what he's going to ask you to do with this? And this is a different stratosphere mm -hmm. for, the, for our collaboration. The other movies were much more low key. Mm -hmm. It's different when you step into a movie that costs what this one costs. So everything is amplified and there's just so much more to making this film. I mean, the visual effects are just ridiculous. Did you see it? Yeah. So, <laughs> and, and so with the development of the visual effects, the music then has to respond to that because you're seeing a new depth of color and, and events. Like one, I remember him calling me once. It's like, what? He says, I, <laughs> You gotta demarcate the moment when Will's ship land hits that other space pod. I said, James, I I have a pencil drawing. I don't see it. I'm like, you gotta walk me through the sequence if there's something like that. I'm like, all right, all right. So, all right. So we're gonna send you the time code when he actually hit. I'm like, okay, great. So there's that, and they're picture, you know, they're changing the picture all the time, and you have to keep the music as current as possible because the music is being cultivated by the nature of the frenetic editorial picture editorial of the film. So it's all hands on deck, crazy, crazy hours. And, and it's so new. You know, this is a, a new thing for Marvel. It's you know, it's completely different from any film they've done before. So put more pressure on you to oh with, the, with the theme to do this. Oh my god. I, I'm I'm just thinking, I'm just, I'm gonna disappoint everybody. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I just, I don't want to so badly. You know, I want to do something that's really substantive and soulful and 
transcendent to people. You think so? Yeah. 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 I was, Thank you so much. I was actually quite surprised, and I have to explain why I say that. Because Guardians of the Galaxy is a new property for Marvel to bring to the screen. It is new in the Marvel universe, relatively speaking. And so there's this question. What's the music going to sound like? And how will it hit me when I hear it? And I don't know if this was intended, but it sounded to me like you were trying to achieve a balance between a superhero sound, but then also the sound of, hey, my God, look, look at these guys and gals also are doing at once, like this discovery, right? Yeah, well, the, the thing is, is that all the characters are heavy-hearted. They all have pretty tragic events that have, from their past that have shaped them to become the people that they are, and they're all guarded. And they finally open up to each other for the first time in, in, in their adult lives to really open up. And, and I wanted the music to be imbued with with that earnest emotion. You know? I mean, like Peter Quill, it's like, I, my mom was a huge music enthusiast. You know, I mean, that's part of how I write music, too. You know, I didn't, I never listened to film music. You know, when I was four years old, I was listening to Frank Zappa, Isaac Hayes, <laughs> John Coltrane, and occasionally like Tchaikovsky or something, you know? And from then on, my music taste has always been eclectic. But my mother, she died in an accident when I was fairly young. And, you know, the culture of that music has stayed with me. So when I read the script, it just blew my mind, you know? And so that was inherent to my music. I gotta ask you, what are you gonna do with that black piece? Are you gonna see that someplace else, the theme that you didn't get a chance to use that turned over to... Uh, oh, no, 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 Black Tears is there. Black Tears, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's in there. It's in there, okay. When they all grab hands mm -hmm. together at the end. Oh, okay, okay. And before the Guardians theme actually kicks in, it's that music there. And it's in the piano theme in the hospital in the beginning, and, you know, in the loser scene when they're talking about the plan and the album. And that's my daughter, who was 12, playing piano. Oh, cool. oh wow. She went to Capitol Studios and did the session. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I mean, that's nothing for her to play that. But <laughs> oh, if I had done something like that at 12, I'd have been like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, wow. That's yeah, she's a serious musician. But um, it was cool. It was great to share her moments like that. Dumb question. Have we got no I mean, did anyone else? Um, no, go ahead. Go ahead. You got good stuff. Thanks. Have you got to a point where when someone calls from Marvel, you say, this is my tenth film of music and therefore you're under tremendous pressure to make something that might pass a generation? I mean, because there is that opportunity, right? Yeah. Um, I can't look at it that way because then I think I might miss the point. I have to ex just excuse myself of all these preconceived notions and just try and allow something to come into me my soul and hopefully express it in a way that makes sense for the movie and people can identify with it, you know, that it has some sort of memorable, lasting feeling, but if I start getting into that other stuff, I don't even know how I to <laughs> uh, I don't even know what I would do. All right. You ready to Thank you, so thank, thank you very much. Thank Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Get your act together. My life's a movie. I leave you in that act forever. Life's like a movie. My life's like a movie. My life's like a movie.